Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make sure your VS code is updated to run with your newest versions of Adobe programs. This is going to be a tutorial which goes over how to make sure you're updated for both the Adobe script runner by render Tom and with extend script debugger by Adobe, uh, both extensions, which many people use. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description, you can check out uh, my GitHub to follow for coding updates. AE scripts where you can help support me by purchasing products and Instagram where you can follow for live updates if you're not already a member of the discord server make sure you come and join and get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions submit tutorial ideas hang out with knowledgeable members and much more and if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks at the same time you can become a member supporter premium supporter or VIP link in the description all right so let's just jump right into it if you use Adobe's Extend Script Debugger uh, VS Code extension, uh, you can pretty much not worry about when you update your Adobe apps. Let's say you just updated from Adobe CC 2021 to CC 2022. Uh, your Extend Script Debugger will work pretty much the same. All you have to do is select your target application, and this will actually automatically detect your newest version. So all you have to do is select CC 2022 or whatever your newest version is, and uh, if it's not running, it'll ask you to run it, and it will already work right out of the box. Your script should launch just the same as it would in your previous application, and you can run it using F5 to launch it. And of course, if you need to, you can go into your specific uh, configuration file and adjust settings in there. Uh, but that's the basic way you can do it with the Extend Script Debugger extension. Now, if you use Render Tom's Adobe Script Runner extension, which simply allows you to press F1 and choose your application, you do need to go into the extension settings to update this. Uh, simply go to your extensions inside of VS Code, and next to Adobe Script Runner, choose the settings icon and go into our extension settings. From here, this has a few settings we can adjust. If we scroll down, you can see Adobe Script Runner, Win After Effects EXE, uh, extend script toolkit exe illustrator exe and any other applications you have all you have to do to make sure this will now work in cc 2022 is update the path to it say after effects 2022 illustrator 2022 and if you have it photoshop 2022 and then you can simply go in and f1 into your new cc 2022 version of after effects or whatever version you've updated to but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to make sure your VS Code is updated and working with the newest Adobe uh, versions that have come out, whether you use Adobe's Extend Script Debugger or Render Tom's Adobe Script Runner. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow me on GitHub for coding updates, uh, purchase things on AE Scripts to help support me, and follow on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.